What's going on guys? Elf back here and welcome back to Seed Saturday Showcase, the weekly series where I bring you a Minecraft seed and show you everything within that world. Today's seed is quite special. In fact, we've got a huge mesobiome within a huge ravine. So it's quite good. So the seed number is as follows. Minus 8888 1064 six zero nine eight six four four seven seven two the world is in fact on a classic and yeah let's kick things off and load up the world i was quite surprised when i found this ravine because it is in fact huge and i was exploring it for quite a while what you are going to do is in fact is you're going to spawn in this ditch here i think there is water underneath it but i've covered it up just to begin with and you are going to spawn in here right down at the bottom let me just take my options off make it a little bit easier so you are going to spawn at x254 y59 and z243 as you can see we are in fact at the bottom right hand corner of the world more or less but we are going to move on up and we're going to have a look around this world so as you can see it's a decent starting spawn with the meza right next to spawn as well so what we're going to do is <coughs> excuse me we're going to go down this way just here and we're going to scoot to our first npc village within this world there's quite a few on this one i'm not entirely sure how many there is but if you come across from spawn to x126 y75 and z274 this is your first NPC village with its very own blacksmith. Inside this blacksmith, you have, in fact, four iron ingots, a piece of bread, and an iron sword, which isn't too bad to begin with. Then, if you go directly in front of that, there is, in fact, a desert temple. So, we're going to come across to this one. We're going to go down in here, break the trap door. There we go. So in this one you have in fact five pieces of gold ingot, a lot of sand and an enchanted book with Bane of Arthropods 3. Within this one you've got more bones and you've got another enchanted book which is the Curse of Vanishing. The third chest full of junk and the fourth chest you've got three iron ingots. Coming out of this temple just here you are in fact then going to go directly this way and you are in fact going to find your next NPC village which is the second one. Down here you do in fact have a lovely cave and it goes on and on and on so feel free to come explore this. It's directly near the village if you come to X-74, Y-50 and Z-351 you will in fact find this. It's on the way from the jungle temple as you can see you'll find this big ditch here go explore that by all means directly onto the desert here you have your third uh, second third second npc village i think this one is unfortunately there's no blacksmith within this one but come across to x minus 181 y81 and z338 this is your next village from here, you are in fact going to see yourself an acacia biome, which isn't too bad. You've got loads of opportunities here within your desert. You've got loads of chance to pick up all that sand that you need to get your glass and everything like that for your houses. Coming up the left-hand side of the world now, guys, you're going to come across more acacia, leading into a little bit of snow. And then I liked this mountain here because it had a little bit of uh, random terrain and whatnot. So you could do something here. It does in fact look like a bit of a like a little bit of a, a spaceship if you wanted to maybe take the rest of this design and maybe do something out of it. I don't know. That's what I can see from that build anyway, potentially. Continue down this side here, you do come across a lovely, lovely ravine just here. And it was very nice to explore around this, just to have a little look. If you come to X minus two nine three, Y sixty four and Z minus one two six. This is your ravine. It's huge. It is absolutely huge. 
come down here guys explore it you've got all the ores in the world that you can think of it's absolutely amazing you've got more going on and on and on goes all the way up here leads off into caves and whatnot it even goes down further and whatnot okay so come down here and explore it you've got loads of little cut off points where you can go down and explore even goes on further down as well just down here so you've got loads and loads of chances you've got your first diamonds here which i did find down here so if you come down to x minus 281 y15 and z minus 121 you've got two diamonds just here and then i did go further around another point and i did find more so i'm just going to quickly just have a look around here guys see what we can see i don't know whereabouts those other diamonds were but as you can see it is absolutely huge around here so a lot of opportunity to take a great amount of ore to kick things off even if you wanted to come straight from spawn i'd come directly here guys this is what I'd do. I'd start off round here, pick everything up that I needed, and then I'd venture off elsewhere after that. So, look what I mean. It just goes on and on. You've got loads of different points of point of action to go around. Even more around here, guys. It is crazy trying to get out of this lava. You've got more here. This is where the next set of diamonds were. So, you've got these ones here as well. Let's see how many is at this one for you guys doesn't look like there's going to be that many just going to be four i think by the looks of it just by the looks yep yeah, just the four but if you come across to x minus 302 y13 and z minus 145 that is your next set of diamonds straight off the back for you guys to take full advantage of get a couple of pickaxes maybe a sword and whatnot too so we're going to venture up out of here because we are going to go back up to the top of the world a little bit cramped down there <laughs> so we're going to continue straight ahead on this world like i said please come explore that loads of diamonds to begin with continue up the left hand side of the world you've got the spruce trees within the snow biome coming down towards the top end of the world and this snow biome is huge for what it offers absolutely huge I don't think there was an igloo on this world. If there was, I couldn't find it. Oh, there it is. Silly me. It is on this world. And it does have a basement. So, come across to X69, Y68, and Z-423. This is your basement with your igloo. So, let's see if I can get down here. Quicker. Come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Down we go see what's in here so you've got a golden apple golden nugget and some apples and whatnot and you've got a villager down here trading 36 rotten flesh and nine golden ingots so probably not the best not the worst but you know there's a villager there off the back just go do your little bit of trading and whatnot continue up the top end of the world now guys and you've got your mushroom island it's quite small to be honest with you but it is within a nice little area and some extreme hills if you want to call them that come across to x108 y72 and z minus 258 for your mushroom island continue back onto yourself and we're going to continue around the rest of the world these hills are liked and there is in fact a jungle within this seed unfortunately i couldn't find a jungle temple I've been finding it very hard to find jungles with jungle temples. I don't know what it is, but that's where that is. You've got more extreme hills just here. Maybe not the biggest and not the best, but come across here, find your emeralds and whatnot. And it does, in fact, lead on to your mesa, as you can see once again, right near spawn. It's not too bad. I've got a bit of a, a chunk loading in just over there. But yeah, that's near spawn. And then... You're going to continue back down here. And that is more or less everything on this world, guys. You've got full advantage right from the get-go with that NPC village just there. The Mesa biome. And then obviously, of course, directly next to that NPC village, there was the jungle. Uh, not the jungle. There was a desert temple. And then there was that huge ravine right next to that as well. So take full advantage of this gap here, guys. 
this is huge this is where everything begins so yeah i hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to ding dong that bell to be notified every time i upload a seed saturday showcase until next time take care and goodbye